Hey guys, Solar Burrito here. I just want to show you my uh, solar generator, a portable solar generator I made two years ago, but every time I try to make a video, I uh, make it too complicated and I'm just not happy with it. So today I just want to show it to you um, and, and see what you think and, and hopefully it gives you ideas to make one yourself. Alright, so here it is. This is uh, a 10 watt solar panel um, sitting on here and it's and I got the biggest panel for my case in that because I wanted it to be portable. That's the whole goal here. This is a, uh, a pistol case I got off Amazon. Um, pretty inexpensive. This is the main power. And that allows the sun to charge the batteries and everything inside to be powered up. So, what I got here is a uh, charge controller. You see it's got a little green light there. So that takes the power from the solar panel and gives it to the battery, but make sure the battery doesn't get overcharged. So it'll shut off if uh, the battery's getting full. I push this button. You see that's the state of the charge. It's pretty good. It's been sitting here for six months. Um, it's the middle of winter here. Uh, and uh, so this is a, a inverter. I can run to 120 watts. I could, I'm going to put a 400 watt inverter in here, but um, this is what I got so far. And under here, which you can't see right now, is a big uh, battery. See so these two bolts hold it down. Um, it's 13 pounds, so it's kind of heavy, but it's also quite large. It's 17 amp hours. 10 watt solar panel. I got it off eBay. Um, about $35, $40. This is, uh, it's either monocrystalline or polycrystalline. Either way, blue. Don't buy a black one. Don't buy a Harbor Freight solar panel. Um, unless you want to. You got really strong Velcro on here. And so, Got outdoor cable, so it's about, I don't know, 20, 20 feet of cable here, and you can, if, if, if it's bad weather, I can uh, have this inside a tent or inside a cabin, this outside somewhere in a tree, this is waterproof, um, somewhere to get more sun, obviously, aim it. Also, this is detachable, so you can string together multiple solar panels, or charge this with the uh, electricity source. So why the heck do I want this thing? So basically, I go to a lot of islands uh, out in San Juans that are off the grid, meaning there's no power, no nothing. So um, the, the boats we take to are really just aluminum boats with a motor, no batteries, no nothing. Basically, we want to run uh, this lithium ion uh, battery powered iPod stereo for more than you know the battery allows which is just, you know, a couple hours. Um, we need some way to charge it up. And then also we're going to stay out there for a while and there's going to be people that are going to meet us and da-da-da-da. Basically, everyone's cell phone's going to die. So this thing, 10 watts, is actually quite substantial. Um, and uh, I'll, sh I'll show you the batteries next. Um, it's, it's like 17 amp hours, which is like, uh, I'll just give you an idea. So that's... Probably not even one amp hour. It's just a cheesy Black and Decker tool battery. Um, but this is 17 of them, and a much, not much bigger than this. So uh, it's heavy but compact, and I can obviously throw this in the boat. Also, I made this so this panel can uh, be put in the side of this case here, and so um, the easiest way to charge it, I found, is just to prop it up. I, I'm going to have a little, a little arm here. But uh, if the sun, if it's on a picnic table or something and the sun is hitting it from that angle, then done. And if it's not, then i got to take off the panel and kind of arrange it. If it's going to be there for a few days, I, I usually just arrange the panel and um, go to bed with uh, it pointed towards the east, towards where it's going to rise. But they are 18 amp hours, non-spillable, so they're AGM. You can set them any way you want. 
that's really nice so I set in that box I'm setting it like this well first of all it's very easy to uh, to wire up there are some wires below here but you don't really need to see these the solar panels coming in batteries coming in and this is the load so every everything you see here is part of the load this is like a 175 watt inverter you can have a bigger inverter it's going to use your power faster uh, it all depends on what you want to do uh, future plans for me I'm going to put a USB two USB ports in and also uh, a port to charge so what the heck would I do with this thing um, a lot of things first of all you could build a cabin with it we use battery power tools a lot now and uh, we could charge we come with three of these charged it would charge three by itself without any sun if you had that in the sun it would charge three and still have plenty of power to do two more so basically you're talking five to seven tool batteries that's enough you now I got my whole uh, battery power tool kit these things are pretty powerful now the circular saws um, DeWalt you know get some a good brand of tools and do a lot of work with uh, a little power unit here also if you were gonna have uh, if you're into radios like ham radios um, people will you know put backpack straps on there's a guy on YouTube that um, makes even better ones of these and he puts backpack straps on his and um, hikes up to a mountain and uh, is a relay a repeater for like a race like uh, uh, he doesn't do it, but people do like, like Baja 1000. Sorry, if you're middle middle of nowhere, you kind of need a portable solar generator. You know, I wouldn't I wouldn't strap my uh, I wouldn't strap that to my back and hike up a mountain unless you really need to. Um, this is a lot more portable. So um, and plus it, you know, you don't you don't need gas. You can be up there for a while. I guess you could use it for uh, you know power outages too. It, uh, stay in communication too, solar, you know, cell phones. Oh yeah, there's one more thing I forgot to say. There is a, uh, a cigarette lighter here. Which I've never used. It's the marine variety. Uh, anyway, so I just wanted to show you that. Hopefully you guys can uh, make your own. This is, uh, I don't know if you can see the model. Model 1404. Plano. I think it holds four pistols. Look for it on Amazon.